there is a reputation problem with police worldwide. Citizens mistakenly believe that the purpose of police is to serve the will of the people, but they don't. They serve the government. As human rights and freedom of speech become a big issue, governments are using police to crack down on their critics and enforce their rule. Politicians write policies that are enforced by police. Politician, policy, police, all from the root word polis in Greek. The government system of today is based on the Greek polis, which is a city-state. Each city-state would have its own laws, and live independently from each other. To enforce the laws, police had to be invented. Laws were originally decided by the congregation of citizens, and that was changed with the appearance of representatives in the form of politicians. Politicians were originally supposed to be messengers who carried the will of the people, the polis was circumvented however, when politicians began writing their own laws against the will of the people. Too much trust was placed in politicians with a lack of accountability, and it was exploited to progressively gain more power. The idea was to pacify the citizens with a false sense of security, and that security is enforced by police. In order to enforce absolute power through the police, the citizens need to be disarmed and the police armed. The polis became nothing more than a subjugated dictatorship, rule in the name of service. Government today is based on the polis for the whole purpose of consolidating power. The myth is that the government is a service and politicians are servants. That was once the case, but hasn't been the case for a long time. The polis was chosen for its corruptibility and ability to keep the citizens pacified. In order to keep the citizens pacified, the government must continue the myth that it is a service that expresses the will of the citizens. So we vote in new politicians, to pretend we have a choice in the matter. Should the citizens recognize the politicians as an authority, the illusion is destroyed and the citizens rise up against the government. Instead of being governed by laws that are decided by the citizens, the citizens are ruled over by laws dictated by the politicians, and this is enforced by police. Since the police requires the citizens to live in ignorance of their subjugation, the consolidation of power branched out into several forms. One way was to grasp at absolute power, in the form of a king. Another way was to rule through a small few, collaborating together. Both of these ways ended the lie after power was achieved. There was no way for the citizens to fight back. Sometimes, a king would present himself as serving the will of the people, in an effort to pacify their resistance to his rule. Sometimes, the rule of the few pretended that they were experts to justify their rule. Another way was democracy, the continuation of the lie. In a world where information flows, the government needs to maintain the lie in order to control the citizens. Kingdoms no longer exist, and they have been replaced by democracy. Meanwhile, the rule of the few is trying in futility to grab up power, such as the United Nations back technocracy movement. The only thing holding democracy together, is the force and intimidation of police serving the politicians. The purpose of police is not to serve and protect the citizens, but to serve and protect the politicians from the citizens. However, police themselves have grasped at power, and in many places they are a rule unto themselves, often intimidating politicians and citizens alike. Democracy is a noble concept in its origin, but in practice it is highly corruptible. Democracy relies on police intimidation while pretending to serve the very people they intimidate. As armed police grasp at more power, they are becoming the new government. This is what is known as a police state. A police state is the next phase of a corrupted democracy. A police state is the extreme use of police force and intimidation to control the citizens, to the point of restricting all freedoms and monitoring all actions. Western governments are in the process of installing a police state, as they progressively make excuses to erode freedoms and heavily police absolutely everything. In a legitimate civilization, Police serve the will of the people, under common law that they agreed upon through consensus, 
Any law that is made against consensus is illegitimate. Police enforcement of those laws is illegitimate. Police in today's world are illegitimate. They only pretend to serve the people in order to pacify their resistance. The government is opening borders to allow immigrants in from the third world. Immigrants who have very different and primitive moral standards, such as Muslim terrorists. The police encourage crime and work through criminals to orchestrate crime, receiving bribes in the process. They use these crimes to justify the erosion of freedoms, in the name of protecting us from the very crimes they orchestrate. I know this from personal experience. I have been targeted by the Australian New South Wales Police Force, the third largest police force in the world and one of the smallest populations. Thugs, a Muslim terrorist and multiple government departments were used to attack me and attempt to take my life, all orchestrated by the police. I am on the run from the government as a result. The more police there are, the more corrupt they are. The more armed police are, the more damage they do. There is no reason why police need to be armed. All they need are body cameras to identify criminals. If they resist arrest, then and only then is it time to use force. It is time to reevaluate the purpose of government and their police, and decide whether they should be a service or a force.